Alright, originally I was going to do this as a video, but my camera doesn't want to record. Something's been wrong with my camera anyway, but uh, I, I probably just need a new camera. So, the picture you're seeing is a picture I took of the uh, box that I have, um, and that's really all I can do for now. So, this is a review for Samurai 7 by Akira Kurosawa. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's the complete box set. It's 20. It is 26 episodes long. Um, it's done by Studio Gonzo. Dubbed by Funimation. The story is simple. There's seven samurai who. Well, the village sends out. There's a village in need of help. Um, and they send out their um, water priestess to look for samurai warriors who can protect them and they find three samurai at first uh, they find Shimada Kambe, uh, Koshiro and uh, Shuroji I think that's how you say his name um, and they find him at first though I mean those three at first no I think it's Kuchio, who's the cyborg samurai, he's pretty cool, and they're basically they band together and they basically go on a hunt for the other four samurai, if I'm remembering right, and they find you know they find each other and they call you know they form the group of the samurai, the seven samurai, and basically this series has. Uh, good animation, uh, great voice acting and everything. The animation style does change from different episodes. Like the animation will be very fluid in some parts and some episodes and then the other ones it will just be normal uh, regular animation. Um, this is definitely one of Gonzo's better projects. And also in this anime you have a lot of 3D CG which I'm not really a fan of but it, it works here. It doesn't distract from the story they don't overuse it uh, when they use it it's for a good purpose like um, and and this takes place in like the future so they're just like cyborgs and stuff like that but they're um, they're basically mech samurai um, they're the size of like small buildings and stuff like that and they've turned themselves into mechs so the story go I mean the story progresses and um there's a war between the village and the uh emperor who wants to basically control the world and these seven samurai are just there to protect them and throughout the series um there's a different there's a lot of character development uh, different characters develop differently uh like uh like Kachuro He's pretty much the student of Kanbe. He he wants to, he's looking for a master and he chooses Kanbe. And he was pretty much inexperienced. He's the younger out of all the uh samurai and he's uh the only one who didn't take a life before uh, joining with this group. And he, he takes his first life and he has to learn to cope with that. But they don't dwell on it too much. They don't have him go insane or anything like that. He just kind of copes with it and accepts that killing comes along with being a samurai. Um, there's really there's only I'm not gonna spoil or anything, but there's only a couple that survive and there's a couple that die, and. The ones that died is just sad to see them go, and the ones that survived, they're pretty much just uh, some of them choose to stay as samurai, and the others just they pretty much choose to pass the sword on to others and live their lives how they can. Uh, it's a satisfying ending. I pretty much thought all the care. I thought they were going to lead up to. I thought every character 
was going to die when they got to the final part. But uh, there, there were some survivors, and I was surprised at the people who did survive. So I highly recommend picking this up. Um, like I said, it's got great animation. It's got good music, uh, good opening, good closing, and great characters. I particularly my tip my favorite characters would probably have to be. Um, I'm gonna have to say Kanbei because he's more he was he had the most wisdom out of all of them, and uh, probably Kyuzo. Kyuzo was the he's Kanbei's um, adversary, and they pretty much promise themselves that they're gonna at the end of the series. Well, when they first meet, they have a fight together, and then after that, they promise each other afterwards after this war is over that they're gonna set up the score to see who comes out on top. Which is the way of the samurai. You you live by the sword, you die by the sword. So, and I'm not going to spoil it or anything. I'm not going to spoil whether they get to do that or not. But uh, it's a really good stuff. Good stuff. So that's pretty much all I have to say with this. This is a pretty uh, straightforward review. Check it out, Samurai Seven.